This is Alex and today I'm going to show you what gadgets and accessories are worthwhile for the Mac Mini. So I've got here the new model with the M2 chip and that is the basic version. Yes, with a slow SSD storage, but I solved that with an external 2TB M2 SSD drive in the Thunderbolt case from a cases. This gives me speeds up to almost 3000 megabytes per second and most importantly it saves me a ton of money. Caldigit TS3 Plus docking station. You don't really save money with a TS3 Plus docking station from a Caldigit. The part costs up to 400 euros depending on the availability. This is certainly too much for many of you, but it offers a lot of ports, including DisplayPort, Thunderbolt and also an SD card slot. However, it even needs an external power supply and costs almost as much as the Mac Mini itself. Mini is a Peru docking station. The Mini has a lot of ports by Apple standards, but they are all in the back and not really easy to reach. That's why I strongly recommend a docking station. If you don't want to pay that much money for it, like for the TS3 Plus from Caldigit, I can recommend this USB hub from Mini Sapuru. So Mini Sapuru was kind enough to provide me with a copy for this video, but I'm still allowed to give my own opinion. And yes, for just under 90 euros, you won't go wrong here. What I like most, this docking station was developed especially for the Mac Mini and complements it's designed perfectly. At the same time, it serves as a stand and such a vertical Mac Mini on the desk. That has something. What I don't like is the unnecessarily long cable, which simply can't be hidden. On the other hand, there are two very fast USB-C ports with a 3.2 standard at the front, which delivers 10 gigabits per second. And it's just as fast as those ports of a Cal Digit's much more expensive dock. And besides an SD slot, you even have a port for micro SD cards. Really cool, even if only in theory. Underneath the dock you'll find a secret compartment where you can actually even install an M2 SSD. SATA and NVMe models as well are supported. Anything but self-evident. However, also the biggest disappointment is hidden here. A speed test shows that the M2 SSD cannot perform at all. The same SSD from Western Digital, which packs about 3 GB per second in my cases case, only manages about 900 megabytes per second. This is even slower than the basic SSD installed in the Mac. And this destroys the actual advantage of an M2 SSD, namely the high speed. Amazon Basics Laptop Bag. Yes, this bag is actually for 13 inch notebooks like the MacBook Air. But since I now only have a Mac Mini, I just use it for that. Okay, actually the Mac Mini is a pure stationary computer. But because it's so small and handy, you can easily take it with you everywhere, provided that there is a monitor at your destination. For example, an office. Everything else that the Mac Mini needs fits into the bag. Keyboard, mouse, power cable and of course the Mac Mini. That's all you need. Keychron K2. Keyboards are booming more than ever. Especially mechanical models are very popular at the moment. It's actually hard to keep track, but one of the best keyboards for a good price is the Compact K2 from the company Keychron. It can connect up to three devices via Bluetooth and switch between Mac and Windows at any time. I have the blue switches installed here, which are very loud and clicky. But if you don't like that, you can also use red or brown ones from Gatoron or simply do it yourself and completely rebuild the keyboard. Xiaomi Monitor Lamp. Meanwhile, indispensable at my desk, a space saving monitor lamp. You simply clamp it to the screen and you have light that illuminates your workspace perfectly without shining on the image itself. With a remote control, you can adjust the brightness but also the color temperature 
and you do not even have to connect to the lamp to the Mac, but you can also simply operate it directly on the monitor. Logitech MX Master 3. What more can I say about this mouse? It's in almost every tech video on YouTube and has been recommended countless times. But well, it's just the best mouse when it comes to working. So yes, I can only say good things about it too. But where I was really surprised is the infamous Magic Mouse from Apple. I've always avoided it, but I've never thought that you could work so well with it. Yes, the shape does take some getting used to, but I must advise everyone to at least give it a try. The movements of your fingers are captured as finely and precisely as with a trackpad and even after a full day's work I really don't have any pain in my hand. That's why the Magic Mouse is my choice for on the go. What are your tools, gadgets and accessories for your Mac? Post it in the comments and thanks for watching.